Everybody's into comparisons all the time, right? So let's start with doing a compression test on a steel versus a, a farmer tech, but it's the same pattern as a 372. So how hard is it to do a compression test on a saw like this one right here? Let's do it. Kind of curious on what this is going to come up with anyway, because this is that uh, XT. That plug is sitting right up there. It's pretty easy to get to. Well, it's sitting a little bit over 170, almost 180. Yeah, it's a little bit over 170 on this, on that saw. Well, it does run well. See, that's getting into the compression range where you know it's going to run good. You get up around 170, 180, that's a good number for a work saw. And that's what we got out of this G372 XT. I like it. I like those numbers. Now, let's just do the same thing on a steel. Fairly common operation. This one happens to be a 310. There's a bunch of them in this series. And I don't know much about this saw yet. Well, start number one is you got to pull that out. Then we got to pull this out. And then we can get to the spark plug. I haven't decided what to do with this 310 yet. Let's see if it has spark. Let's start with that. Inquiring minds want to know. It's kind of hard to get a spark plug test on this because everything's plastic. So you got to get kind of creative. does have spark. Let's see if it has compression. About 125. It doesn't have great compression, but it has some compression. Put a little bit of gas in there. And put that spark plug right back in there. Let's 
see if we have a saw. If we do, this thing here is going to turn into a project saw. Because there's a gazillion of these things out there. Whether it's the 310 or the 3, 390 or some derivative of, you know. Just goes to show that you can get a running saw at 120 pounds, I guess. Hmm. No idea what's wrong with this saw. Air leak, maybe? Pulse slime? Not right. There's your problem. Bad seal. See that? Shot that right in there and cut it right off. So now we know what the problem of this saw is. Now the question is what do we want to do about it? This one might be a perfect candidate for a Chinese uh, bottom end. I'm not sure I want to go through putting a seal on this thing. Uh, works every time. Shot that right underneath there and shut it right off. Bad seal. Now I'm not sure how hard it is to get to the seals on these. But my hunch is it's a pain in the neck. You know. Pretty much everything else on these is a pain in the neck. Why would this be any different, you know? Might be a perfect candidate. Perfect candidate for doing a project. Let's see if we can wrap that flywheel right off of there and see how hard it is to get in there. Let's go a little further. Look how small the threads are in those. It's a tiny little screw. Boy, if I'm reading this correctly, it looks to me like someone attempted a repair on this.
Ah. Boy, I wonder if we could just tighten up on it and make it run. That is loose. Interesting. But the whole bottom end's loose. Not the seal at all, even though the seal doesn't look good. I'm betting it's just sealing up that bottom end. So my hunch is if we take this apart, assuming the top end has a little life left in it, and then seal up that bottom end, we have a saw here. That's what I think we have. I've never had one of these apart, so I really have no idea what I'm doing. The only thing I do know is if I don't get the handle off, I can't get to the other screw. Now you've all seen me take apart Husqvarna handles, right? How long does that take? Now this one should be loose. And really all I want to do is get into that. Look at that. That is literally See it? That is literally loose. Alright, let's crank on these damn things and see if this thing magically comes back to life. My hunch is though we're not going to be able to be anywhere near that lucky. All right, let's see if we have a saw. Huh, wouldn't that be funny? used to make fun of the steels when I first saw them. Pretty sure one of the engineers have got stock in a plastic company. But wouldn't it be funny if this thing runs to just tightening up those? I don't think it will, I'm telling you. I see enough of this blown out of there where if there was a gasket or even gasket material, it's gone now. So the chances of it running are pretty small. But chances of us being able to get down in there and fix it are pretty good. All right, let's see if it works. This is funny. Probably have that wound up so far. What do you say to that? Oh my god. <laughs> what 
What do you say to that? Well, maybe I better change my opinion of these little steels. So let's put this back together and, uh, oh my God, I am just, that's unbelievable. But I still think this deserves to be a project saw, especially after that performance. So I think what we're gonna do with this saw is I think we're going to tear it apart and then reseal that assuming you guys are interested and see if we can't make this into a good running little saw you know there are a gazillion of them out there okay this guy goes near somewhere I think Unbelievable. I am just absolutely tickled pink. I don't know what to say. I wonder if I have a side cover for this thing because I could put a bar and chain on that and run it. Wouldn't that be cool? Chain brake works. It's OEM steel. It runs and idles. Man, oh man, oh man. All I had to do is tighten up the the screws that hold the bearing cap to the bottom of the cylinder. Wow. All right, I got a short video, don't I? Look at that thing. 